Now that the Model Y has an automatic lift gate, a lot of people have made comments how it would have been nice if there was a foot sensor underneath that you could use to open the trunk hands-free. Well, there isn't that option, but there is a third-party app out there you can use that will give you access to the trunk hands-free. <laughs> So naturally as consumers, when a new feature is rolled out, we find ways that this feature could be better, easier to use, and that's no different with the automatic liftgate on the Model Y. Now this is probably my favorite feature of this car. It's something I wanted on the Model 3 for a long time, but there's been times I've come out of the grocery store and my hands are full of groceries that a foot sensor under the bumper would have been super convenient to access the trunk hands-free. But there's a workaround. There's an app called Stats, and Stats has Siri integration ability. So if you go into the app, you can create shortcuts within Siri to function this car with nothing more than your AirPods, maybe your phone, even your watch. I will say, because this is a third-party app and Siri's not the best, it's a little bit laggy. It's not perfect, but it's better than nothing. So we, here we have our boxes coming out of Target. Hey Siri, open the trunk. Wait for it. Huh? How good is that? Throw this stuff in. Hey Siri, close the trunk. There it goes, so good. Now this isn't something specific for the Model Y and the fact that they have an automatic lift gate. If you have a Model 3, you can do a lot more with this. Hey Siri, unlock the doors. And the door is unlocked. Maybe you're walking away from your car and your car hasn't locked. Hey Siri, lock the doors. There we go. You can even set the car to turn on the AC. So I can say, hey Siri, cool the car. Now you can't hear it, but she just told me that she set the temperature inside to 70 degrees. It's something I did within the app, so you can operate the frunk, you can change your charge settings. I'm gonna go into my office and do a screenshot so you can see everything that's in this app, but this is a great tool to use. The app costs 25 bucks, so there's some give and take there, but let's go in and take a look and we'll dive more into it. So really quickly, before I run in the house and show you what this app looks like, I know I'm gonna get questions on, does stats need to be running in the background? Does the car respond if it's been asleep? So my Model Y has been sitting here for about seven hours, really untouched. So nothing's running in my background, it's completely cleared out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask Siri to unlock the car. Hey Siri, unlock the car. Ah, it responded pretty quickly. I thought because it's been asleep it would sit and it would take a while for Siri to talk to the app than to Tesla, but that went much quicker than I thought. Sometime it's laggy, but let's go inside and I'll finish this up. So now that we're back in my office, I'm gonna show you what my screen looks like and I'm gonna walk you through how you set these things up, what the different options are within it, because there's tons. So I'm gonna jump right into stats and the first page is always what your charge range is, what your efficiency looks like. I will do another video that goes into more in-depth information on this app as well as Tesla. But for this, I'm just gonna jump over to the gear. And if you scroll, you will find Siri shortcuts. So if you hit that, there's all kinds of options in here. There's climate and seat heater control. There's activate sentry mode or deactivate sentry mode. Set charge limits, lock doors, unlock doors, open the trunk or close the trunk, open the frunk, start charging, stop charging, open and unlock the charge port, get the remaining range for vehicle, and get the inside outside temperature. So some of these I already have set up, but I'm gonna set up a couple more. So one of them is going to be the charge limits. There's really only two percentages I charge at, either 90% on a daily basis, or if I have a long trip, I, I charge to 100. So it'd be nice if I was sitting on my couch just to tell Siri to change the charge limit on my car. So what I'm gonna do is go into set charge limit. I'm gonna take that up to 90% as my low. 
There we go, I hit next. I'm gonna change this text here to say low and I hit add. So now when I say set charge limit to low, Siri will go in, talk to the car through the app and change the limit. Now I'm also gonna make it 100%, hit next. I'm gonna change this to high, hit add, done. The other one I wanted to do was open the charge port. Sometimes I'll go out to the car and my phone won't be on me, but I have my watch on and the car is asleep so it won't open the charge port because I don't have my phone near it. So I'm gonna hit open charge port. I wanna take out unlock. So when I say open charge port, and I hit add, that's good. And the last one is sentry mode. I always have sentry mode on, but sometimes I'm in a familiar place, I don't need it on, and I don't wanna list it as a favorite. I know you can do that in the car. So I'm just gonna have a feature to say deactivate sentry mode, hit add, that's it. So these are all added, and what you'll look at if I jump out here and go to my shortcuts, there they all are. All the different shortcuts of the things that I have set to my car. So now all I have to do is tell Siri to do these things and she does it. I mean, this app is so good. For me, it's the functionality of opening and closing the trunk, but even the frunk, I mean, being able to just tell Siri to do that and have it pop open, it's super convenient. Now I will say this app costs $25. I've had it for a while, so I can't remember if it's $25 for a pro version or we're just $25 off the bat. But I guess you've got a way if it's, if it's worth it. For me, I primarily use Teslab, so that's where I get all my information from. The only reason I'm still using Stat is because it has the Siri functionality. Now once Tes Teslab adds that to their platform, I'll probably go fully to that, but um, it's great. I mean, how cool, this is a short video. You're probably thankful it's a short video, but it's neat to see that you can use the app to control your car, and especially with that automatic lift gate. I mean, if you have a Model Y and you've done the aftermarket automatic lift gate or frunk, there you go. Utilize it, it's awesome. Talk to you in the next one. Get better, be better. See you next time. See ya.